everybody, this is Praxis, and we're through. We got the hole in there, and uh, ready for the next step. The trench is dug outside, and now it's just a matter of uh, uh, well, getting the tube in and finishing this project up. Uh, the next thing I'm doing uh, is trying to get the concrete in here wet, because I've got some hydraulic cement, and we're going to be putting that hydraulic cement uh, around this pipe as best I can. It's 10 inches of a uh, hole there and there's only about a quarter of an inch gap around uh, uh, the pipe once it goes in because it's a five inch hole and uh, it's a four inch pipe but the outside diameter of the of the pipe is four and a half inches so I've only got about a quarter inch gap so that it's kind of hard to get cement in and around that um, so I'm going to do the best that I can but one thing that you can do if you want uh, new concrete to bond to old concrete is to make sure the old concrete uh, is uh, moist so it's not sucking all the moisture out of your new concrete because the new concrete needs a uh, needs wetness to cure concrete does not dry it cures and for that chemical process to happen it needs to be wet so if it's getting dried out by uh, uh, the concrete that's trying to bond to it's not gonna it's not really gonna set so I've got this towel soaked in water and I'm just gonna take this towel and shove it into the hole and while I'm working outside to get the uh, uh, the last of the uh, the pipe in place. I've got some of the pipe in place from yesterday. While I'm working to get the last of the pipe in place, this thing here, let me shove it a little further in there. This thing here is going to be kind of starting to soak water into the concrete all around here. And uh, hopefully it'll be enough. I think it'll be enough. It's dripping a little bit there. It's going to make a bit of a mess. But uh, it's an important step because uh, I really want to get a nice solid. Um, uh, bond here because uh, water comes off the back roof and uh, I've actually had some trouble with the uh, the pipe below this. I did not use hydraulic cement. I just I didn't have any hydraulic cement so I was kind of like yeah spray foam will do it. Spray foam didn't do it. Uh, it's It's been leaking a little bit and um, I've been working on that. Now now would be a good time to dig down another couple feet below it but I have actually feel like I'm kind of on top of it. I've been able to get sediment to pack in around it and um, uh, we're not really leaking out of that so much. Plus, once I put uh, gutters on the back roof to collect our rainwater, uh, it's going to be much less of an issue anyway. But still, I'd like to get this one as good as I possibly can. Uh, and the way to do that is to get a good bond with the hydraulic cement to the concrete around it, so wetting it up. So now I, I head outside to finish up the rest of the pipes. Uh, this should be and must be done today because uh, I've got a big hole here, and now if it rains, uh, <laughs> all the water gushes right in here. That's it. Thanks for watching.